Srim Bhagavatam. That he had been attacked by one ferocious demon. Then, which demon? Then he said, oh, hunger. We're very, very hungry. And now, coming into our nostrils is this very, very sweet smell. I'm coming from this um, Tao plantation. And it's also going into our stomach. So please help us to relieve this um, problem. So then they went to this plantation. And this was taken care of by an associate of Kamsa uh, called Denukasura. So Balaram, they said, if we go to this place though, that it's guarded by this Denukasura, and anybody that comes near, that he and his associates, that they immediately annihilate them. That nobody goes near this place. What to speak of going near it? Near it. Even the birds up in the sky, they won't even fly over this place. Balaram and Krishna, they were laughing. How can an ass, you know, be so powerful? So then they went, Balaram in front. When um, they got to the um, grove, then Balaram, he took one tall tree, very, very tall, thin, and then he started to shake, and some tall fruit started to come down. Blah, 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 blah. Immediately, Denukasura, he got up, and he went to see what, who was intruding in his, in his territory. And then he saw the very, very beautiful forms of Krishna and Balaram. Krishna with his very beautiful peacock feather, his pitambra, his golden yellow shawl, and next to him, Baladev, in front by the tree, uh, with his very beautiful white complexion, blue dhoti. Seeing immediately Denukasura, he charged towards Baladev, and then jumping, this ass demon with his hind legs, both legs, with a very, very heavy push, he just kicked Baldev in his chest. But Baldev was just standing there and not at all moved, not at all phased. Then Kasura, he looked, he was amazed. Then again he went up to Baladev and then he turned around. Uh, and then he lifted up his hind legs and again he kicked him. But this time when he went to kick, Balde very easily just caught hold of his legs with one hand and then just started to swing him round in a centrifugal way. And then he just took him and tossed him up towards a tile tree. Before this demon even reached the, tile, the top of the tree, uh, his life air had left. He hit, his body hit the tree and then so many fruits started to come down. The tree also broke and it fell and it hit one tree. And from the weight of that and the demon, that tree also broke and fell and hit another tree and then another tree and another tree and in this way the trees were just scattered all over the place in, in such a short time. The friends of Denukasura, they saw how their master had just been killed by Baladev and then immediately they also got up and they started to attack Baladev and Krishna and there was a great flurry of Baladev and Krishna just taking them and swinging them and then throwing them up into the trees. And in, within no time, the whole place was completely devastated. There were just tall trees, tall fruit, the bodies of these demons, and blood. The place was such a mess. And then after Madhu Mangal, who was very hungry, he looked. He said, oh Krishna, I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> Let's go home. So, it's been explained that this pastime, uh, it has very, very significant meaning. That just like the different demons that were killed by Krishna, that they represent different anatas. So, Denukasura, he represents ignorance. That he's taken the form of an ass. And the ass, uh, he's the symbol of ignorance. Srila Gurudev has explained that in the rainy season, the ass will go and start to eat grass. But because of the rainy season, there's so much grass. And then the ass will look up. And the ass will see that, oh, that there's so much grass. I haven't eaten, but actually the ass has eaten so much. But he's just seen that I've not eaten. In the dry season, when there's no grass, the ass has eaten just a little bit. But then the ass will look up, and the ass will see, oh, look, I've eaten all of this grass. Huh? And then the ass, by the, mind, by the power of his mind, just see the power of Maya, then his stomach will become very, very big, though he hasn't eaten anything, but he'll think, I have eaten. What is this? 
prakrite kriyamanani gunai sava saha aham karadi mudatma kataham iti manyate. That the ass is thinking that I'm eating, but actually, due to the influence of the seasons, the three most material nature, all this is going on. But the ass, being a mudha, being ignorant, is thinking, I am doing. The living entity conditioned in this world, we're also going about uh, and apparently performing so many activities. But actually, these activities are being performed by this body, which is, full of, which is made of senses, mind, intellect. And these activities are being impelled by the three modes of nature according to our karma. We, the living entity, we're in there and we're observing. Uh, we're bringing consciousness, but we're just prisoners in this body of nine gates, walking here and there. But by illusion, we're thinking that, oh, I am doing everything. I am in control. I am so powerful, just like an ass. Also, this ignorance, um, when the living entity comes into this material world, Krishna Bhuli Seiji Vanadi Bahimuk Ataiva Mahitar Deha Samsaraduk, he becomes covered um, by Maya. And the first covering, the first slap is illu of illusion. This is avidya, ignorance. This avidya later develops into the other covering of the living entity, um, which is where you have the different things which are explained in Madhur Kandambini, then rag or lust. This lust uh, and avidya, avidya is just a subtle form, a development of this lust. And the living entity, covered by lust, is forced to act in so many different ways. That's why in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna he says, or oh, Arjuna asks, Atakena Prayuktoyam, Papam Charity Purusham. He said, oh, Arj oh, oh, Krishna, why are we forced to act even if we don't want to? What is the reason? Krishna says, Kam Esha Krod Esha Raja Gunsa Mubhava. That due to lust, uh, which transforms into Tamagun, uh, which is born from the mode of passion, one is acting like this. So, how will one become free? So, this pastime, we see that Krishna has killed so many demons, Putana, Trinavata, Shakatasura, Agasura, uh, but now Baladev, he's killing this de demon, Denukasura. Why? Because Baladev, he's Akanda Guru Tattva. He's the whole full manifestation of Guru Tattva. And the living entity who is covered by ignorance and covered by different anatas. What are those anatas? Saruk Brahm, Asat Trishna, Vidoy the Balham, and Aparad. No time to explain. So, the living entity covered by these... Gurude, should I explain? No time. The living entity covered by these different anatas, but especially we'll discuss Ridoya Dabalyam. That Ridoya Dabalyam, it has four divisions. First is Tucha Asakti. That the living entity is attached to very, very insignificant, ephemeral things of this world. Then Kutinati and Kapatya. This means duplicity, hypocrisy, uh, and also um, cheating and criticizing. That especially for one who has come to the lotus feet of Sadguru, one who has come to be able to do bhajan, then it shall have Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur, he said, that it's better uh, to take birth in the species of worms, beasts, different animals, uh, than to come and still hold on to this kapatya and matsarya, envy. So this has to be given up, but very, very difficult. Very difficult to give up this hypocrisy, this duplicity, because we're bound by illusion. So how to give up? And the last is pratishta. This, tucha sakti, kutinati kapatya one, matsarya, envy is another, and then pratishta. Huh? So who can give up? Kanakamini? That one who's given up this desire for the sense, sense objects of this world, Kanaka, Kamini, the opposite sex, who's, who's, brief, okay, who's given up, Pratishta, uh, desire for name, fame, adoration, which is so subtle that practically up to the level of Bab that this is there, how can give up? Only by mercy of Guru. So, um, Baladev comes and he's killing this demon. Because these anatas, especially this anatta, this will be removed when we take that attachment, uh, which is born of ignorance that we have for this material world, for the objects of this world, for our mother, for our wife, for our children, for different things. And then we take that attachment and then we place it at the lotus feet of Guru. That love and affection, now we give it fully to Guru. Uh, 
Then Guru, he is um, Sadhu Vaidya. He's a transcendental physician. Then he can perform the operation. Baladev, he comes with a plow. And with this plow, he's rooting up uh, the, the weeds which are in the field. And similarly, uh, he means he's rooting up the anatas which are within the field of the heart. And Guru, he's doing this. He's Nityananda Prakash, uh, Baladev Prakash. He's a manifestation of Baladev who's coming and he's mercifully making the field fertile. But for that field to be fertile, we have to offer it to Gurudev. But because we're conditional, our offering is conditional. So we have to keep on offering and offering and offering and offering uh, so that Gurudev can keep on performing that operation and make the heart nice and clean uh, so that that Bhakti Lata beach, which is being planted by Guru Mercy, uh, so that this will grow very, very, very nice. So how he's giving his mercy? By his very merciful glance, by his embrace, by his, um, uh, his wishes, and especially satam prasangam mamavirya samvido. Bhavanti Vidkana Rasari Nakata. Tadjoshanat Ashu Apa Bhagavatmani Chararati Bhakti Anu Today Kali Hara. Today, tomorrow. Hare Krishna. Yesterday, Srila Gurudev mercifully given some initiation. Due to lack of time, we couldn't announce your spiritual name. Today, we'll announce your spiritual name. And some more devotee has requested for initiation. It will take place tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. in Gurudev Bhajan Koti. And for the gents, they have to shave clean hair and clean dhoti. It's have to come like other dead devotees come. And tomorrow, due to Harinam Sankirtan, fire sacrifice will take place day after tomorrow. And darshan for devotee who left over, like France, Italy, Holland, Lithuania, Latvia, Finland, Russia and other countries, day after tomorrow, 10 a.m. here, Hare Krishna. And when Gurudev is announced the spiritual name, please let them listen their name first, then you can clap. Otherwise, you start clapping, they could not listen their name properly. Hare Krishna. Thank you for your cooperation. Hare Krishna. And the devotees who are uh, performing drama, be ready, make all the arrangements just now in a expert way so that nobody is disturbed, we can hear the name announcements. Srila Gurudev has given initiation mercifully to 86, sorry, 88 devotees. Some of them have already left. We start with Mirnal Das from Kolkata. Please stand up when we call your name and Srila Gurudev will announce your new spiritual name. Mirnal Das Prabhu is here. What? <laughs> Mridul. Mridul Krishna Ki Jai. Francisco Chaitana Krishpo. Chaitanya Das Ki Jai. Espana, Espana. Andre Krieger from Germany. Anirudh Krishna ki jai. Anil Krishna ki jai. Then also from Germany, I believe Dresden, Ives or Ives Weiland. Ives Weiland. Jamuna Jivan Prabhu ki jai. Then from London, King Chong. Not King Kong, but King Chong. <laughs> Kokil Das Prabhu Ki And from Holland, Huan Oremskerk Jagmohan Prabhu Ki From Nepal, Bhattu Krishna Das Eh? 
बटो कृष्ण दास की जय फ्रॉम हॉलैंड रवि देखू फ्रॉम हॉलैंड रमेश्वर प्रभु की जय फ्रॉम बर्लिन मार्टिने हॉबंट हस्बैंड कर्स्टन अरे वो दूर मानती देवी की जय फ्रैंक बर्लिन फ्रैंक इज हियर भजा हरी भजा हरी प्रभु की जय रवि बैन फ्रॉम इंग्लैंड रवि रवि राधा चरण प्रभु की जय मैथ्यू ऑस्टन फ्रॉम इंग्लैंड मुरली मोहन की जय फ्रॉम ऑस्ट्रेलिया रिसीविंग हरिनाम दीक्षक रश्मा बगियानी रत्नावली देवी की जय रिसीविंग दीक्षा फ्रॉम दी यूके सुमित्रा देवी दास सुचित्रा देवी दास सुमित्रा देवी की जय फ्रॉम इटली रिसीविंग हरिनाम मॉरिशिया अरमेंटी माधुरी दासी की जय Catalina Giwala Giwali Koi Oops Radhadhar Das ki jai Morgan Masia Mohan Das Mohan Das ki jai